What's up YouTube and welcome to the first ever episode of Life with Lamb where we talk about how to make small changes that have big impacts. Today we're going to be talking about how to hack your Mondays by taking advantage of self-fulfilling prophecies. So if you've ever woken up feeling miserable or lacking motivation, then this is the video for you. And at the end of the video, we'll be going over some quick tips on how to make sure that every day is a positive day. Sound good? Let's go. Now, before we talk about how to hack your Mondays, I wanna take a second to talk about fortune tellers. Do you ever notice how some people swear by fortune tellers or astrology charts? Maybe palm readers or tarot cards? I mean, I know I'm a Scorpio, but knowing that fact has never helped me win the lottery. Still, somehow these fortune tellers really do seem to be able to tell the future, sometimes. Like a palm reader grabs your hand, looks at your palm, and they tell you, you will meet the love of your life tonight. And as you're walking home, you're looking at your palm, trying to figure out what they saw. And of course you can't. But now you're curious, so you put on your best outfit, you call up some friends, and you go out. Because how are you gonna meet the love of your life at home? And lo and behold, some intoxicating presence is looking at you from across the room. So you walk over because, shoot, this could be the one. And you go and you chat and you laugh and suddenly, boom, you've got yourself a date for the weekend. Prophecy fulfilled. But think about it. If you weren't told that you were going to meet the love of your life that night, would you have gone out? And even if you were already thinking of going out, when you met eyes with that stranger across the room, would you have given him a shot? See, these types of situations are called self-fulfilling prophecies, and they can definitely be a bit of an issue for a couple of reasons. One, you're going into these situations with a preconceived notion of how the situation is going to go, how the night is going to end. So you're going to focus your energy on all of the points that support what you already believe. That's called confirmation bias, and I want you to remember that term because we're going to be coming back to it. Two, self-fulfilling prophecies give a sense of credibility to the source of your prophecy even though you're the one who made it happen. And this creates a nice little positive feedback loop. So it's like this. Because you fulfilled the first prophecy, you now have more confidence in the source of the prophecy. So you go back to the source for another prophecy. And because your confidence is high, you're going to put more effort into fulfilling that second prophecy. And because you're putting in more effort, that second prophecy is more likely to come true. So you gain more confidence, you go back to the source, you get another prophecy, you fulfill that prophecy, you gain more confidence, go back to the source, get another prophecy, fulfill that prophecy, gain more confidence, go back to the source, get another prophecy, fulfill that prophecy. You understand what I'm saying. So why are we talking about fortune tellers? Can we hire a fortune teller to tell us that we're going to have good days? Of course not. So how are we going to use self-fulfilling prophecies to help us hack our Mondays? Well, let's apply this to day-to-day -day life. Let's start with a simple exercise. Let's rewind the week to Monday just as your alarm is going off. Tell me, what was the first thing that you told yourself Monday morning? The first thought that popped into your head? Was it, oh boy, it's Monday? Or more likely, was it, ah? If you woke up telling yourself that it was going to be a bad day, guess what? You just set into motion your own little self-fulfilling prophecy. Look, we've all had a case of the Mondays. Your teacher seems to be giving out extra homework. Your boss is just a little bit crankier than usual. Maybe your partner isn't as affectionate. But is it that Mondays are inherently bad or have we set Mondays up to fail? Remember what I said about confirmation bias? If you think Mondays are gonna be rough, then they're going to be rough. And not because they're any worse than any other day of the week, except weekends. Granted, weekends are pretty solid. But because we focus on all of the negative things that happened that day. Traffic happens to be a little bit slower than usual and immediately you're thinking, of course I'm gonna be late to work today, it's Monday. Show up to class and somebody asks you why you look so tired and you automatically chalk it up to it being Monday. And even when good things happen on a Monday, we're more likely to treat it as an exception and dismiss it. All of this adds up to us looking back at the end of the day and only remembering the crappy things that happened. Let's look at Fridays. Or actually no, let's do Thursdays. Fridays are too easy. 
No one hates Thursdays as much as they hate Mondays. But why? You wake up at the same time, you go to school or you go to work at the same time, you get home at the same time, you go to sleep at the same time. Everything is the same. If anything, Thursdays should be worse because unlike Mondays, by Thursday you've already been going to school or going to work for three days in a row. You should be exhausted. So what's the difference? The difference is in how you approach that day. Thursdays, we're not thinking about how crappy that day is going to be. We're thinking about how close to the weekend we are. Only one more day between us and sleeping in. So when negative things happen, we're quick to brush them off. Nothing is getting in between me and my weekend. End of the day, you're not focused on the negatives. Was it a better or worse day than Monday? Who knows? But it feels like a better day and that's what's important. I mean, let's be honest. Whether we say a day is going to be a good day or a bad day, we don't know. We're not fortune tellers or astrology charts. So whatever we decide about a day when we wake up is not real. It's just some made up expectation based on nothing. And if we're going to be making stuff up anyway, why not make it up to be positive? Give yourself and the day the benefit of the doubt. Story time. The truth is, I used to be a real Monday hater. And I know, hate is a strong word. That's why I used it. But walking around school one Monday, surrounded by all of my miserable fellow Monday haters, something just clicked and I realized it didn't have to be this way. The next Monday, despite every fiber in my body screaming negativity, I said out loud in my bed, today is going to be a good day. I walked around school with a giant fake smile plastered on my face, forcing myself to feel every ounce of positivity possible. If something bad happened, I grit my teeth and I mumbled, it's okay, it's Monday, it's going to be a good day. And I shook it off. And every time something good happened, my smile felt a little less forced. And I started thinking, huh, maybe today is going to be a good day. And you know what? At the end of the day, I couldn't remember most of the bad things that had happened. I mean, I knew that negative things had happened, but the only things that really stuck out to me were the good things, because those were the things that I was focused on. And that Monday felt like a pretty decent day. And every day after that, that I woke up telling myself that it was going to be a good day, it got a little bit easier to believe it, which meant that every day felt like a better day. Because that's the thing about self-fulfilling prophecies. Nice little positive feedback loops. I actually used the same trick to become more productive in the mornings. I used to have to scrape myself out of bed at 8 o'clock, grumble my way to school, the whole time telling myself that I am just not a morning person. But things really started changing for me when I altered my message and I started telling myself that mornings are a really good time to get things done. There's no one around, no one to distract me. And it was hard at first, but as with all self-fulfilling prophecies, it got easier and easier. Nowadays, I wake up at 6.15 and I hit the gym before work. Then I skip through the hall, high-fiving kids. Energy's just not a problem anymore. But we'll talk more about my morning routine in another video. So, okay, I get it. Mondays aren't so bad, but I still don't like them. So how do I hack my Mondays? Well, I'm glad you asked. Tip number one, say positive things. It seems simple, but you'd be surprised how much your words can override your thoughts. It isn't easy at first when your mouth and your brain aren't in sync, but over time, you'll find that you can rewire your brain to think more positively. It is your brain after all. Tip number two, be consistent. Confidence can be fickle, and one bad day can make all of your work seem fruitless. So you have to march into every new day armed with your new positive attitude so that you can brush off the negatives. Remember, no day is either good or bad, meaning both positive and negative things will happen every day. It's up to you to consistently choose how you're going to view it. Tip number three, celebrate the little victories. Don't get discouraged if your first Monday isn't the best day you've ever had. Focus your energy on celebrating all of the little things that you wouldn't have noticed if you hadn't chosen to look at your day positively. When a stranger thanks you for holding the door, when a driver lets you merge lanes, when a friend gives you a particularly nice hug. These are all positives worth celebrating. And the more you celebrate the little things, the more things you'll notice are worth celebrating. So there you have it, how to hack your Mondays. In the comments below, let me know what you think of this video. Tell me what you like to say to yourself in the morning to get ready for the day. And let me know what little victories you celebrated today. And if you've got any tips of your own for hacking Mondays, please feel free to share them.
I really hope that you gained something from this video. And if you want to support this channel, then please hit those like and subscribe buttons. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell because we'll be dropping a new episode of Life with Lamb every Wednesday. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be good. And let's make today an awesome day. Take care.